Hello everyone and welcome to another Wyckoff class. Now I think this is episode 8 and so we'll talk about today about the events in Wyckoff methodology. So the basic preposition of Wyckoff methodology is that price action follows a set of patterns that can allow us to determine whether it is an accumulation, a distribution, uh, an uptrend or a downtrend, okay, and therefore predict what's coming in the future through, through these patterns and through logical thinking, okay? So basically, we have a bunch of different events, both in accumulation and distribution, and, you know, just to give an overview of them, so first, we have a preliminary stop, which is just stopping the trend movement, we have a climax, which is, you know, uh, we have a movement preceding a trend, we have a reaction from that uh, climax, we have a test, shaking out, breakouts, and confirmations, okay? And this specific event that we're going to talk about today is the preliminary stop, all right? So, this is the first uh, Wyckoff event that appears, and when, we'll, when we start talking about the phases, the specific phases... Um, this is the first event of all, and in, it initiates the phase A of the, the you know, accumulation or distribution. So when we have uh, accumulation schemes, this is usually what we call prelim preliminary support, okay? And together with the selling climax, the automatic rally and the secondary tests, it basically provides a changing character from a trend. So what do I mean by that? So let's look at this Bitcoin chart here, for example. Let me just reset the scales. And so we have something like this, okay? So we have a downtrend. Then we have something like an accumulation. And then we have an uptrend later, All right? And the preliminary stop is just stopping this downtrend in the case of an accumulation or stopping, let's say, this uptrend in the case of a distribution, okay? This is what the preliminary stop is, all right? Now, of course, uh, we have a bunch of, you know, other examples, which is basically the reverse of uh, accumulation, but for distribution. Uh, Ryan has talked about this extensively on his channel, but basically, accumulation and distribution are basically a mirror reflection of each other. So when you have accumulation, you have the opposite for distribution. So for example, if an accumulation is something like this, for example, a distribution would be something like this. Okay? So basically like a mirror reflection. All right? All right. So, you know, usually what we see uh, happen with preliminary, you know, stops is that we usually see a little bit of a, a V-turn, a little bit of a needle-shaped uh, trend in price, okay? So how it appears in the graphic? We have a few examples here. Of course, it's not always going to be exactly like this, but what you see here is that we have a trend, right? You have a, a big, big trend and suddenly it stops, right? It suddenly, boom, stops and reverses. Now, as we will see, usually when you have a big downtrend, okay, many people start thinking about a V-shaped recovery. Uh, if you guys remember back in 2021, here in May 20, a lot of people were hoping of a V-shaped recovery. A lot of people were thinking that Bitcoin was going to do this right after touching this point here. And of course, it didn't, okay, but we had a pretty big wick here. So we had a pretty huge wick here. Okay, so we went all the way down to 29k, then bounced right up to 36k back in 2021. And this is what constitutes this preliminary stop. Okay, so we have a trend, and then it stops and reverses for a little bit. Okay, so this is when uh, when the, the character of the trend just changes completely, okay? And this is what we'll call the change of character later. And this is the same just but for the, you know, an uptrend and stopping that uptrend. So we can see something here for the accumulation, right? This big wick here. And we can also see it uh, around here for the distribution. So we have a big uh, candle up and then boom, suddenly we go 
down a lot. So this is the basic principle of the preliminary stop. Now, of course, it has a motive to exist. It's just it's not just a random pattern, right? Because that's not what Wyckoff theory is about. It's not about random patterns of candlesticks or whatever that simply make sense because you want it to make sense. They have a logical explanation behind them. Okay, and the psychology behind the preliminary stops is that it essentially uh, serves to uh, turn the greedy traders, the fearful traders, and the smart traders into their you know desired direction. So basically, um, the greedy people they see this price move, this really abrupt price move, and they enter the market just to be, avoid to being left out. Okay. So what you'll see here, for example, in this accumulation scheme uh, here, in this accumulation phase here that we saw back in 2021, a lot of people were buying here, right? Because they think, oh, it's going to do a V-shaped recovery. It's going to go right up. I don't want to miss that. And these are the greedy people. And these, you know, are what motivates a little bit of the, the uh, resistance tests in accumulation right there are the fearful traders who have been holding their losing positions and suddenly when they see a big you know wick down they decide to sell it all right they decide to sell it all because they cannot take the pain anymore okay so the those are the people that are selling way down here okay way down this wick and finally there are the smart traders who have been you know they were able to anticipate the turn and they are already in the market but you know they just stay in this trade and they start accumulating not just jumping in expecting it to you know rile up in price okay all right so there are a few uses of the preliminary stop when you're talking about just analyzing the trend okay so what's the point of identifying this preliminary stop so this is what what you should do once you identify a preliminary stop you should stop thinking about continuing to trade in favor of the previous trend okay so if it is for example a downtrend you should be shorting all the way down here right and then you should when you see a big reaction like that you should you know think to yourself well you know what it's probably better for me to stay off short trades and just maybe observe the market for a little bit okay um and also, it is an ex excellent point to take profits. If you are in a short position and you are in profits, this is not a bad time to take profits. Okay? Okay. So, in the case of an accumulation, what, what we call it is preliminary support. Okay? So, we have a downtrend and suddenly we see the preliminary support. And what you see is that if you see repeated preliminary support zones, it's suggested that basically the professionals has been eliminate, eliminating offers from the market okay and when the last low is reached so when you have you know the the last people wanting to sell for example here that's when it reverses back up okay okay and you know we'll see exactly these patterns in the future we'll do some case analysis and in the case of a distribution we call it preliminary supply okay and this stops the previous uptrend and once you see a bunch of them in a row okay so it's not just seen once because if it were just once you could say that this was a preliminary supply and it isn't okay it isn't because we eventually trended up by a lot okay all right, uh, and again, if you see repeated of them, that means that usually they are trying to extinguish the demand from the market, okay? All right, so yeah, uh, the next event that we're going to look at is the Climax. That's going to be out next week. Uh, this was a little bit of a shorter video, but it is a lot of information to digest. So I hope you guys, you know, really think about preliminary stops, start looking for examples. Um, I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you and till next week. Goodbye.